After an attempt to get more resource deputies in the schools across Volusia County was denied, the school district is looking at other options. West Chief's Pamela Combe caught up with the district leaders who are disappointed about the way things went down. The goal was to make schools safer. We were a little bit disappointed and disheartened about um, our request for additional funding for seven more school resource deputies not being approved at County Council yesterday. Danielle Johnson, Communications Director for Volusia County Schools, says the district currently has an understanding with the Sheriff's Office as they already supply seven deputies. The current agreement says the school district pays for 55% of the school resource deputies salary and compensation. The sheriff's office pays for the other 45%. The district says they were simply trying to make an amendment to the current agreement and add more staff. Now that budget season has passed and the school year has started, another question from commissioners is why is this coming up now? After budget season, the district says it's because there are more severe incidents happening on campus. It's important that we're being able, we're preparing ourselves to be able to respond to those, you know, whether it's it's vaping, it's drugs, it's um, all of these other instances that we have statistics of on our campuses. Also brought up in the county council meeting was the over $20 million in reserves the district has. Commissioners say Volusia schools should be the one to fully fund the additional seven deputies. When we asked the interim chief operation officer, Patty Core, if the district would assume the entire financial responsibility, she said, I'm going to tell you once again that the agreement calls for Volusia County School Board to pay 55% and the sheriff's department to absorb 45%. They say pay the totality of their salary would not be in line with the current agreement they have with the sheriff's office. In Volusia County, Pamela Combe, West 2 News. And now the district says they will reach out to Port Orange Police and ask if they could once again staff the two schools in their area without a law enforcement officer.